always hold my keys if I'm walking somewhere. I've seen people talk about doing that kind of in the way that you're ready to stab someone if need be. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. My name is Jen. I do videos, I wanna say travel, but currently, no, we'll hold off on that. Beauty, lifestyle, a little bit of fashion content, and I'm gonna do some story times, vlogging. I know they say to stick to one thing. I'm gonna be doing a few different things on this channel. That's just what it is. So if you're interested in any of that, go ahead and subscribe. Today's video is going to be the second half of my Belize series, we'll call it. And this is gonna be the cons. When I say cons, these are just things that are personal to me and also to San Pedro because Belize is a small country, but there's lots of different um, parts which may not have the same cons as San Pedro does. They were not anything that caused any major problems in my life whatsoever, but just some things I wish maybe I had known before going and moving there and some things that even if you're going to vacation you might want to know maybe you'll think I'm absolutely crazy for being bothered by these things and maybe you'll agree with me I don't know without further ado let's get into those here now for me I'm fortunate where I didn't have to personally have an experience in the hospitals I know a lot of people who have and Basically, the main underlying point is just that if you are used to hospitals in the US, um, Canada, the UK, etc., first world countries are used to a certain, I guess, standard of, of care. I'm trying to find the right words where I don't want to be disrespectful. Just be wary of that if you have a pre existing condition. My recommendation personally would just be that before you go, um, or, you know, for me, I return home in the summers. Just get everything done with who you're comfortable with at home and then go ahead to the country and hopefully you won't have any problems there. I've gone to the same dentist forever, eye doctor, all of that. I just get all of that out of the way at home. Of course, they're always trying to improve their medical care and facilities, especially though because I know there's a lot of retirees moving there and expats as they call it. Just something to keep in mind that it's going to be a different experience and may not be um, what you are used to. So if that's something you're uncomfortable with, again, I haven't had a personal experience with that. And a lot of times if you have a serious problem, for example, if you're on San Pedro, which that's what I'm specifically um, aiming towards, you will have to take a helicopter or a boat to Belize City. That's where the hospitals are. I know my fellow teacher friend, Emma, she broke her foot, I wanna say, and she went to Mexico. A lot of people go to Mexico to get better healthcare. So yeah, just that. So transportation can be a little bit of a pain just because for me living there, I'm a teacher, so I gotta be smart with my money. Why have I been holding this the whole time? It's like I'm conducting. I was thinking of doing my makeup on camera and then I just realized it's, I'm not good at multitasking, so let me put this, put that away. But anyway, I'm trying to save money, I'm a teacher. I could have gotten a golf cart. That's what everyone on San Pedro drives and they are expensive. If you're just gonna be there for a week or you're someone who's going on vacation, definitely rent one. Um, but if you're living there long term, it really will add up and it can be expensive. And a lot of times the cheaper deals are gonna give you the shit, the bad golf carts that are gonna break down and need to be towed. So if you're living there like I was, I know a girl who went through two or three bikes that she bought and they weren't cheap and they were stolen every time. Even with the lock, people would break the lock and take it. Buying a bike, I wouldn't recommend either. So then you end up walking places a lot. For me, I had work right across the street and a grocery store to my left. So it was not the end of the world. Necessities and work, I didn't have a problem. And if I needed a ride, a friend or my boyfriend or someone would come and get me in their golf cart. But when it comes to walking too, just keep in mind that the roads in certain parts can be very, very dusty. Um, the sides often have potholes, so there's water. If it had rained, you might be walking through mud, basically, through mud, and um, it's a small, gonna be a small shoulder. Put my headphones in and, and 
So if someone's driving by and they know you, or sometimes even if they don't use your judgment though, they'll pick you up and give you a lift, which is awesome. Just figure out what's right for you. And if you want to risk getting a bike and you know, you can try that. If you're fine with walking like I was for the most part, then do that. If you want to spend a little extra money and get a golf cart, um, which I would recommend if you have the funds, do that. So do not drink the water. I've heard debates on this. I do brush my teeth with it now, but I didn't at first. I still got sick a little bit, but I think my reason was that I went in to Belize and I ate whatever I wanted. I tried the local foods, which are amazing and I recommend, but maybe in moderation when you're first going there, because obviously our bodies are just not used to the food when we go to other countries, right? I think that's happened to me pretty much everywhere I went. Maybe that's just having a sensitive stomach like I do, but I did get a few times where I don't know if I ate something bad or if it just didn't agree with me. Yeah, so just be wary of that and be careful when mostly, I keep emphasizing when you first get there, but that's when I think it's the most important because as your body adjusts and gets used to it, you can pretty much eat whatever you want and your body is used to that. Yeah. If you're going on vacation, do whatever the heck you want, go crazy, do your thing. But if you are moving there like I am, I have very quickly realized how small of a town San Pedro is. Even if you're going there long term for studies or research or something like that, just be careful who you tell your business to and also kind of what your business is, you know, getting with people's man out with 20 people. Do you, but just know that everyone's going to know. <laughs> That's really all. Like I know people's business that I didn't ask about, but just through hanging out with my friends, I know people's business who don't even know me. I think that goes with any small town though, but just know that, just know. This should have been like number one, honestly. For me, it is such a struggle. It's such a struggle. And I know that sounds idiotic, but let me explain a little bit so you feel me. So when you are grocery shopping, say I want to make chicken with rice, potatoes, and a veggie. We'll just say that. I have to go and get my chicken from one particular place. Usually I go to Lino's Meats because they sell the best quality meat, right? And a lot of the other stores will sell meat that's, ex I don't know if expired is the right, just not as fresh meat. So I have to go to get meat, my chicken. Then I would have to get my um, veggies and potatoes from a, a fruit and vegetable stand because again, you're gonna get the freshest quality. I don't know why that is, but at the regular grocery store, that's where you can get, you know, your rice, your package, um, your cereals, snacks, cleaning supplies, all that, but they're not gonna have good fruits and veggies usually. So that makes it three different spots that you have to stop at. Now remember that I did not have a golf cart, but sometimes what I would do is walk to the store get my food and then wait and call a taxi and take the taxi home. And you're probably thinking, don't, didn't you say you had a grocery store right near you? Yes, I do, but unfortunately it's one of the, oh gosh, I don't know how to say this in a respectful way. A lot of the stuff there is expired or they have bugs sometimes in it. Now do <laughs> think that all the stores are like this, but there are a few. Just ask, my my advice would be just ask someone what's the best grocery store. I'm gonna say Super Buy, Greenhouse, those are my go-to Lino's for meats, that's it. Um, and yes, I can go get snacks, wine, a few things from the one near me. A few incidents where I got something that was expired or, yeah, just there's a few to steer clear of. Most of them are fine. Check your expiration date. Where am I? Oh, oh. Is has rained overnight and you're waking up in the morning and leaving your house, you're gonna wanna put on bug spray, especially if you live in an area like me where my yard is all grass and sand, a little 
bit sand dirt um, no the mosquitoes just thrive in that they do carry dengue there I believe Zika as well you want to protect yourself against that some days there are times where it, I've gone a month without getting mosquito bite and then it rains and they're just like clouds of them if you're going to go into the jungle or hiking you know want to check for ticks you want to wear your bug spray I know DEET is not great but a lot of times it's the only one that will work um, if anyone knows any organic or is that the right any um, more natural bug sprays that do work let me know because I'd be super interested in that and would probably bring some back for my fellow Belizean friends so I get roaches sometimes every once in a while probably like three times out of my year living there I, I found it maybe four I found a roach um, my roommate always kills them for me because I swear no all jokes aside I have a phobia of bugs like I actually my heart even just thinking about it right now like I've never been stung by a bee or any kind of bug um, so I don't know what it stems from I do think I think it's just I don't know but I have a severe like see one and I'm in the house alone I'll probably like leave there's red ants I would walk around sometimes to just toss my trash my trash bin is out back and I'd go around my house and it walk just it's a quick walk you know I went once bare feet and I had literally ants biting up my feet and the bread bumps you're going to Belize there's gonna be bugs there's gonna be bugs you're going to Central America the weather is humid and hot and bugs are thriving and they're big it's worth it for me and I have a phobia of bugs so you can handle it too I promise I'm an Amazon fanatic. Slightly, I'm kind of moving away from that direction as I'm learning more about Jeff Bezos. Getting packages sent, I know that it's possible, but from what I understand, it's extremely costly and takes months usually to receive a package. So my recommendation would be I lived there and I have had friends visit me, family visit me. I will just send things to them and ask them, hey, when you visit, can you please bring this? Or I go home for Christmas for two weeks. I'll just order those things then and bring it. There, I mean, you can pretty much get, there's really cute clothes stores there. You know, you, you don't have to shop online. There's, you can find most of the things you need. I've been trying for so long to figure out, I think it has to come on a barge and you have to call ahead of time and you pick it up at the post office. It's, I don't really fully understand it. Um, and it's never been so worth it to me. Although I do love a good online cart full. something personal to me and anyone who has bad eyes or sensitive eyes or and or wears contacts it gets very dusty on San Pedro and that sounds like a horrible word choice but just think about it um, the a lot of the roads are dirt roads there is sand you're on an island and there's usually a beautiful breeze so all of those things combined create lots of dust now remember if you're on a golf cart walking bike you're not in a closed car and there's dust flying you know so for me I have learned that I should get the one a day contacts because I went there with the monthly contacts and I found I was going through them very quickly more quickly than I ever had and I think that is because of that environment a lot of times I would just bring my glasses case with me so if I had to get rid of my contacts because they were just so dry then that would be that I do know as well that there are contact drops for people with contacts so maybe if I invest in those and bring those that will also help me come per prepared maybe if you're going for a week even get the one a days for that week if you have sensitive eyes like me and i have astigmatism i don't know if that matters i had a little bit of a hard time with my eyesight there at certain points i want to be comfortable so i do wish that i had thought of that before i went but again not a big deal one last thing i want to touch on before i go because i realized i didn't say this in the video is crime so i'm sure that lots of people may be expected because of the 
negative stereotype about Belize in general due to some of the circumstances that have occurred over the years and made news. A lot of people before I went and after I went have asked me about crime and if I felt uncomfortable or if I had any unfortunate circumstances occur. I did not. I do have pepper spray as well as I will always hold my keys if I'm walking somewhere. I've seen people talk about doing that kind of in the way that you're ready to stab someone if need be. So another thing I will do if I for any reason feel uneasy, also have my phone light on and I'll be on the phone with my boyfriend just for that sense of, does anyone else do that? For that sense of security and so that if somebody were to do something, they know that someone will hear. I haven't had anything happen and I, yes, I do go places by myself often. I walk places. I am definitely in a safer part of town and I do have a um, security guard. He walks around throughout the night and just kind of on the whole property. Shout out to Santiago. Honestly, I would say genuinely have had more harassment occur in the US hands down so does rub me the wrong way when people put that stigma on belize i think just use your street your street smarts that you would use anywhere the truth is that anything can happen if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time it doesn't matter where you are that is all of my cons and again i would seriously suggest to anybody that you just do your research before you travel or obviously before you move somewhere as long as you do that, I think you'll be fine and you'll be prepared. And as long as you know what to expect, for example, with the grocery shopping, you know, you're not gonna get there and be like, oh, like, where am I gonna find this? And why is this, the veggies in this store, like nasty? You would just know, oh, I have to go to this, this, this. And you know, watch videos, read about it, look at blogs. And I think that's really what it comes down to. For me, none of these were deal breakers. Absolutely not. Maybe for you, they would be. Belize is a place where the pros really outweigh the cons. Um, I can't talk it up enough. It is such an underrated gem, I feel. One of the most, if not the most amazing place that I've ever traveled to. So yeah, for sure, check it out. If you are at all interested, you will not be disappointed. Just do your research. And that's it for my cons. I hope this video isn't super long. If you like these type of informative travel videos, then definitely subscribe to my channel because as of now, I am going back to Belize for another year. I'm so excited and I hope that I can bring you along on my journey with me. Follow me on Instagram as well if you would like to see additional content and I'll see you guys next time.